increased focus on tackling crime and violence in 2018, the church urged to join fight against lawlessness, and cabinet to discuss wage negotiations with rank-and-file members of the police force. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Lorraine Mendez. You have to bring it to your pulpit. We can't allow much of what is happening to be covered up. Prime Minister Andrew Holness calling on church leaders to preach against crime and violence and its undermining force on the family structure. Speaking at the 13th annual Heal the Family, Heal the Nation service Wednesday, Mr. Holness also urged the church to speak out against all forms of abuse, particularly child sexual abuse. If you see something like that, it is not right. It cannot be accepted practice in our culture. We must expose it and preach against it. And if you see someone suffering quietly, reach out to them and help them. Pointing to the church's capacity for outreach and counseling, Prime Minister Holness encouraged the church to use its influence in curbing vengeance and reprisal killings. The Prime Minister's New Year's Day message struck a similar chord, calling for a reduction in violence and aggression against women and children and implementation of new methods to solve disputes. This year, I intend to lead a national campaign against violence in all its forms. In 2018, let's bring back the Irish Jamaica, the peaceful Jamaica, the loving Jamaica, the happy Jamaica, the prosperous and progressive Jamaica. To tackle crime and violence, Prime Minister Holness informed that there would be an increase in the number of zones of special operations in 2018. The zones, he said, shows government's resolve to reclaim communities captured by criminals and make Jamaica safe for all citizens. Zones of special operations have shown Jamaicans that our security forces can police communities and control crime in localities without abusing citizens' rights. We have now created a framework for the whole of government response to citizen security. Prime Minister Holness said special attention would also be paid to ridding the country of illegal guns and ammunition. Illegal weapons and the organized criminal network around their procurement importation and distribution are national emergencies and will get national attention in 2018, which will include amendments to the Firearms Act, amendments to the anti-gang legislation, and amendments to the Bail Act. Mr. Holness said other legislation would be tabled and passed in 2018 to strengthen the police force. They include the Police Service Act to facilitate institutional reform in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the Major Organized Crime and Anti-Corruption Act, and the National Security Act, which will coordinate all agencies within the national security space. Rank and file members of the police force were also on Prime Minister Holness's agenda this past week. On Tuesday, he responded to a letter from the Police Federation seeking his intervention into a wage on pass with the government. The Ministry of Finance and the Public Service has offered the police a 6% wage increase, which they have rejected. In the letter, Mr. Holness told the Federation that the dispute would be the subject of today's cabinet meeting. He informed that though he had discussed the wage talks with the ministers of finance and national security, a broader discussion with the cabinet is required due to the far-reaching implication of the issue. While highlighting the police's integral role in providing security as a precursor for economic growth, the Prime Minister also pointed to the delicate state and stage of the island's economic recovery. He said present action would determine if the country stays on the course to recovery, adding that it is in all parties' collective interest to ensure that recovery is maintained. Jamaica's push to become a maritime powerhouse within the region also captured Prime Minister Holness's attention this past week. On Wednesday, he met with representatives of the Factories Corporation of Jamaica, the Port Authority of Jamaica, the Special Economic Zones and JAMPRO. During the meeting, he received updates from each agency on their efforts to meet their targets and objectives for 2018. And the Prime Minister hosted the sixth staging of Shaggy and Friends charity event on the lawns of Jamaica House Saturday. The event was staged in support of the Bustamante Hospital for Children. And that's how we close out Jamaica House Weekly. Do join us next time for more of the news coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.